yo yo what's up hey i'm starving right now oh my gosh you know what would be good bro i would get a burger bro i've been trying to figure out what i wanted in la tacos burgers but chris the other day came back he's like yo jay you gotta try this burger from burger she wrote da, 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 da. and i was like word so what we're gonna do right now is i'm gonna go around la try some of the best burger spots that i found on yelp and actually burger she wrote was one of them i'm also gonna go to burger shop and one more place called chris and eddie's there's also another place, but it's not open yet. So we're just gonna try Chris and Eddie's. Let me know in the comment section below. If it's fire, let's get into it. All right, y'all. So we made it to the first spot at Burger Street Road. We actually just put in an order. It's like a minute wait. It's like 30, 40 minutes but it's all good honestly like i'm mean, like i said i'm taking from my friend's recommendation chris came out there aka swag and like he waits for nothing so if he waits 25 minutes for food it gotta be fire so i'm actually gonna go on yelp and read some of the comments because there's actually a lot of five-star comments on this restaurant all right so one of the comments says so good came here for dinner last night was not disappointed our group got the oklahoma burgers which has caramelized onions if you enjoy onions in your burger which is fire quality meat king hawaiian burger buns they had the queen Yo, the King Hawaiians be on point. And the condiments combined together to create pure smashing deliciousness in your mouth. Didn't get to try the fries, unfortunately, because the fry was down. 100% will come back again for another burger and those for fries. Listen, a lot of these comments have like hair gaps and stories on them. I'm obviously not gonna read them all. I'm gonna read something else. Somebody said, my friend and I have been looking forward to try out this place since we found out on Instagram. The food is very delicious, very cozy burger joint. Very, very friendly staff and incomparable flavor. The burger is very juicy and flavorful and the service was exceptional. Exceptional. We actually dropped our fries. Jeez, what's up with the fries, bro? And we and the server was kind of to offer some new ones. Sean recommend you check out the place and try the Oklahoma burger with grilled onions. So those are some of the comments. Uh, if you guys also know me, I do love food, as you can tell. I actually don't like cheese. Unless it's on pizza. I know it's weird. Go ahead and comment section get a, a no, roast me. But um, I can still eat a burger without cheese. So that's what I did. I did order the Oklahoma burger with no cheese or mayo. It's only barbecue sauce. That's what I like. Let me know in the comment section below, actually, what's your guys' favorite comment. Y'all like, if you like mayo, you're weird, bro. Ranch, whatever, but you know. Anyways, we're about to get this burger right now. All right, so my man's even came to the car and dropped off the burger. So like you said, and I said in the comments and the Yelp, absolutely amazing customer service. All right, first we're going with the fries. These fries are hot, fresh, straight out, crispy fries. They're ready. Wow, they gave you, they gave the man's extra ketchup. You know, y'all be stingy with the ketchup in the restaurants. That's crazy. Let's do it. Wow. These fries are so bomb. I can eat really ugly. I like love, I love crispy fries, bro. These are absolutely smack. I could just like low key order fries from this place and be good. That was very good. That was definitely an, uh, I'm gonna give the fries. I'm giving them a 9.5. That's how good they are. And then here's the burger. Wow. Honestly, I know a lot of y'all are like, wow, Jay, this burger looks, no, this burger's on point. This is perfect for me. I don't need nothing else. We got the ketchup and mustard. I love pickle. It's like a Mondo burger. See, like, it's like the onions inside. It's like a, like I said, like Mondo burger, bro. It's way bigger than a bun. We're gonna have the first bite, fresh out. Oh, let's get it. There you go. It's good, Jake. The cops is looking for me how good this damn burger is, bro. Hey. Wow. I got him on the bike. Almost. Hey, this is a 10. I'm going foul. This shit right here is a 10. Yeah, this, this, this is a 10. This is a 10. I'm absolutely calling it. This is my first 10 I had in food. I'm so happy with this. This is absolutely amazing. If you're in LA, go to Burger She Road because this right here is it. Holy shit. Wow. 
So right now we're about to go to the second spot here. It's actually like 10 minutes up the road. We're gonna go to, I think it said Christian Eddie's crowd. Uh, we're about to go up there right now and we're about to see how their burger is. But I don't know, that may be hard to top, no cap. So we're at the second place right now. We're at Chris and Eddie's. We just got here. I'm gonna read some of the comments that they had on Yelp. Uh, one of my man said, Chris and Eddie's is what White Castle thought it could be. Damn. My homie put me on to these guys before they had a restaurant. They were just a stand highly recommended place to eat taste buds with thank you. I'm best, I'm guessing he's saying this fire. Cause I don't whatever. Uh, another comment, it says, one of the best burgers I've had, the sauce to dip it in is fantastic and the meat itself is thin and absolutely scrumptious. Also not a tater tot guy usually, but the tots are so fresh and potato full. Not to mention how cool and friendly the guys are when they work. Thanks again, Chris and Eddie. So, these are some of the comments. Um, honestly, I'm ready to go in and try this burger. Let's get it. All right, so it's getting a little dark. LA, it's been getting dark like 3.30, I swear to you. But anyways, so we got our burgers here. Actually, this place is more of like the slider vibe. So, let me show you. They got the waffle fries, my man. I asked them what you think is best. They said the waffle fries is fire. I also read in the comments the tater tots as well. And then I also got me one of those little slider johns. So let's start off with the waffle fries. By the way, I got a bev. I'm always ready. Never, never eat this without a bev, bro. You're dangerous. Fresh out, very hot, crispy. Also salty, but it's not OD salt. It's just the right amount that you need on the waffle fries. Let me give the waffle fries a nine out of 10. These are good. Now we're gonna try the slider. Let's get it rocking. Wow. The waffle fries, sorry. The slider is also very good. They ain't got a bunch of condiments like burgers she wrote on it, but it's very good. They also have the special sauce. I don't know what this is. This is like the special sauce from Good Burger. But I heard it's fire. Honestly, I'm gonna do this for y'all because I love y'all and I hate this type of stuff. So I'm gonna try a little dip. A little dip. Uh. I mean, honestly, it's kind of good. It's actually not bad. And I really don't like this type of sauce stuff. I really only barbecue. We'll try this out. Let me be honest. The burger was a slider one. So, and I like sliders a lot. And the thin patty has really been wearing, like, it's been, like, making me think different. Because it's a thin patty, so I'm not thinking it's juicy. No, it's juicy, very good, hot, amazing. I also don't like cheese, so... Of course, if you like cheese, try it with cheese, it'd be probably better. But um, I'm gonna give this at a nine out of 10. Also, you know, I might like a little pickles or onions on it, but honestly, this is not a bad slider. So make sure you guys check out Chris and Eddie's. Anyways, I'm gonna go to one last spot. We're gonna make an audible. We're not gonna go to the last spot, which is in downtown LA. We're actually gonna go back over to the other side of town. Actually, shout out to my boy, Faze Temper. He put me onto this burger spot. It's a Brazilian burger place. It's about to be crazy. If y'all probably seen it on my Instagram, y'all not following me, make sure y'all follow me. Y'all just see. Let's go over there. So right now, um, this is a spot that Temper, shout out to my boy Temper, Tommy, has shown me a few times that she came here. It's called like Pedro's Burger. Um, you guys can find them on Instagram. Uh, they're actually like a small, low key, like Brazilian joint. As you guys see, like the Brazilian flags everywhere. I'm literally in the home of Phase Temper right now, but we're getting this crazy burger. It usually comes with like egg, cheese, sausage, corn, potato, a bunch of crap. Like even the soda. Brazilian soda. 
It's crazy up in here, but it's super duper duper good. Very excited to get it. Very excited to show you guys this burger. Big ass. I'm going to put on the order right here. Thank no you. No cheese, no egg. That one's no egg. This one's no egg? Oh, sorry. Yeah. W. Cheese. With price too. And the price. And there's special meal on the side. It's a new one. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. Yeah, Appreciate it. Two, plate two. Awesome, okay. thank you. Hey guys, enjoy. Yo, this is crazy, bro. And the burger, we got bacon, tail strings, lettuce. We got the corn on the bottom. I don't know what else is in there. Chicken, ham, ram, hog, mog, you name it. All right, we're gonna go for the first bite. Definitely got a bet. I need more water, but we'll get more water in a second. But this is gonna be a messy first bite, but it's gonna be okay. Hey, we're gonna make a mess with this, but forget it. All right, here's the first bite. First off, that may be the world record biggest bite in a burger ever. Second off, I've had this before. It is so good every single time. It's a lot to get through. But there's so many comments to it. Like we even got a little sausage dry right here. But the bun is warm and hot. The patty is fresh. And all the condiments, I don't know. It's a Brazilian burger, so it's like a Brazilian type dish. But it's so freaking good, bro. Honestly, if I'm gonna rate this burger, I'm gonna give this a 9.5, bro. This is the second best burger I had today. High burger she wrote. I think this is just absolutely amazing. If you are definitely in the LA area, definitely gotta try this burger place. I can tell Pedro Cas, Pedro Cas burger, so freaking good, bro. It's absolutely amazing. What I'm gonna do is, first of all, so this is the last part we got to. Um, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure you guys, first of all, like and subscribe. We're on the road to 100K right now. Also, comment below what other place in LA or what other foods I should try next time. Maybe I'll just do straight up Brazilian food. Maybe we'll do tacos, maybe we'll do seafood, whatever it case may be. We're gonna definitely do another burger video because I do love burgers. But the three burgers that I put today, first of all, thank you guys for your hospitality and your love. Make sure you guys go, if you're in LA area, I'm telling you, go try these places out. They're so freaking good. But now, I need to get out of my face because I'm gonna tear this burger up. Y'all stay smooth. Peace out.